Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, Shipyard Champions. Where today we are having a new challenge on our hands. Um, let's see, the challenge is 1905. We have any country, any enemy country, weather and time of day is any. Forces, yours and the enemy is five battleships, five heavies, five lights and five torpedo boats. Okay, build. Pick one class for your fleet. Uh, this is the ship you get to design on 1905. Hmm. Okay, that is a tricky one. I'm actually tempted to go uh, the experimental dreadnoughts. Or the experimental battleship, to be honest, for this fight. Um, we can go very big. We can go pretty small. <clears throat> Let's go big. No. Let's go small. I don't know what the rest of the challenge is. That is the problem. The rest of the challenge is currently hidden for me. And only after building these ships am I allowed to reveal... The secondary part of the challenge. It's probably gonna be something annoying. Like, okay. How many money you wasted? Um, if you wasted money, you're, you must uh, give up points. Something like that, I'm sure. I don't know. I do not know, my friends. I do not know. Out of curiosity. This is just out of curiosity, my friends. Third, Mark 2, Mark 2, Mark 3. Alright, 11 Mark 3s it is. Yes, they fit on that barbette. However, they do not <laughs> fire over this barbette. So do we have a bigger one? Nope. That is the only barbette we, we, we would have. Okay. 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 Um, let me... Uh, let me quickly finish the design and then we skip on to uh, stage two. I have a fun idea. Alright. A little while later. This is the ship I decided to go with. Um, she has four 11-inch guns and two 9-inch guns. She has a shit ton of four-inch uh, casemate guns. Um, Ballastite, TNT, Citadel, Anti-Flood 2, Krupp 2. Um, yeah, 20 knots. Fairly long range. I like her. I like her. This is the ship. I will be using for set dual. Save design. All right. Custom battle. Nineteen oh five, France. Right. Five battleships. What else was in there again? Um. Five heavy cruisers, five lights, five torpedo boats, and my opponent will have the same numbers. Right. Let's um let's see what our clear morning. Let's start off at 20 kilometers. Um, now, you know what? Let's start at 15 kilometers. We're, we're only at 19.05. 15 is still decent enough not to get blasted away by all guns immediately, but close enough to actually get to the enemy. Now, let's unlock the second part of the challenge. Go back to the custom battle screen and swap the countries over. Head over to the enemy mode and make sure they are using your design. 
You may now go back to your new country and design a new class of ships, but it may not be the same class you already designed. Holy f Brother Monroe? You, you utter, oh my god. So, my enemy will be France, using my designs. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. And swap the countries over. Okay, well, fair enough. I had Japan selected when I... Uh, Ah. Another week of frustration coming up here in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, that's for sure. Thanks. Um, so I have to design a new class of ship. However, I may not design my own battleships now. I have to design some other class. All right, let's go heavy cruisers. Um, yeah, I suppose we're gonna hit the auto design on the battleship. Please give me something good. Please, well, what do we have? 13.3 inch guns with 8.4s, 13.3s. Oh, I wish you could take that gun away. Uh, g give me a bit better angle on those guns. Oh, well, it is what it is. That is the AI ship we will be using. Right, heavy cruisers, what do we have? Jesus. No, 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 no. Screw it, I'm auto-designing auto the heavy cruisers as well. Okay, fair. Light cruisers. Hi, I am manually taking control of this. That's right, folks. Now, 33 knots is not doable. How about 30? Not doable. 29 is doable, but fairly expensive in terms of... <laughs> yes. But honestly, this is the best chance we have for survival, I fear. May get a four stacker. Throw an induced boiler. That is not enough. Engine efficiency is very low. Four torpedo launchers, check. Please tell me, well, 18 inch it is. Better than nothing, right? We're starting at 15 kilometers. I'm thinking going six inches. Why? Because I can. Okay, um, all right, Citadel needs to go, reinforce bulkheads, normal bulkheads, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peric acid. Screw it, we're going peric acid here. No questions asked. Okay, um... We're facing battleships with heavy firepower, but also with some nasty, some very nasty um, four inch guns. I can get two and a half inch main belt. I do need barrel length increase here. 
for these ships. Drop down to 28. Let's get rid of you. And instead. Hi. Get you installed. Off weight, 17%. Hmm. I figured this would push me towards the four weight offset, but apparently not. Okay. Plenty of guns, plenty of torpedoes. Um, let's see. For every one of the ships you originally designed, you manage to sink, you may earn points. So if I kill one of my battleships, I earn 10 points. I may, the enemy will have 5, so I can earn 50 points. So that is the hardest mission available. Yay. Most points. Yay. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's see if I can survive my own ships. Okay, we are ready. Let's do this. Oh, hi, you look familiar. Okay. Luckily, we started at pretty long range, so I have time to organize my fleet here. Over there, okay. Let's go. Enemy is to the north. In that case, let's turn the light ships in that direction. Turn off torpedoes. My torpedoes have a five kilometer range, so they will be fairly useless for the time being, but we'll see. Maybe we can use them in the end. Ships. Eight inch secondaries, that's pretty nice. Um, my heavy cruisers are having a meeting. Go away from the divisions here, please. Contact. No, no, no. Relax is just the firepower of some heavy battleships that are coming in at me. Nothing to worry about. Light cruisers come about, please. This is what I wanted to avoid, to be honest. Light ships getting hit here. Oh, that's okay. You can die. For all I care. Okay, my ships are returning fire. Sweet. At 
least that is something. Shokako, turn away, please. My light cruisers are still bravely acting as a screening force. Alright, hold on. This is Division 6. You will follow Division 6. Division 6, you will not change leader. You may change leader, okay. Then we have Division 1 here. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Light cruiser smoke screen is off. That is unfortunate. My light ships are engaging and disengaging, of course. Alright. Main guns. Secondary guns, main guns, secondaries, main, secondary, main, secondary, execute. Some good hits on the enemy torpedo boats there. That's good news. That is Division 1, and this is Division 3. Division 3, 4, 5... Follow Division 1. Stop changing formation. Stop changing formation. Light cruisers are looking good. Enemies being drawn towards them and not towards my battle fleet here. Which is what I want. Go ahead, attack my light ships. Leave my battleships alone so I can use them. Not to mention that these ships are fairly fairly fast. 27 knots. 30 knots on that torpedo boat. That is, of course, a bit annoying, but let's target the torpedo boat down. Should be no problem. Good hit on our enemy light ship there. Remember, I can only gain points if I kill these five ships here. But to be able to kill them, I need to get rid of some of these bloody escorting ships. That ship should stop at her charge now, right? Another flooding head, good. She's getting peppered by six-inch guns after all. There's nothing to scoff at. Engine down. Alright, first enemy ship gone. Oh, a small hit on my ship there. Okay. Battleship line one, turn. Battleship line two, turn. Battleship line three, turn. Freeze game. Three. Four, five. Ah, and the enemy smokes up just when I finished targeting. That's annoying. Not the end of the world, but annoying. Just to confirm, yeah, 11 and 9 inch guns and 4 inch secondaries, that is indeed my ship. Enemy is still seeing me, but I'm not seeing them. Kinda annoying. Turn. Seta is at risk here, but can't really be helped. There we go. 
set that almost got hit. There we go. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Enemy has been reacquired. My light ships, of course, doing 27 knots, so they're fairly fast. Let's see, how fast are my opponent cruisers? 22 knots, 18 knots for the heavies, and of course 20 knots for the battleships. I got a speed advantage overall on, in fact, most of my ships. Ooh, good hit there, good hit! A 13-incher nuked a uh, Daitang. Probably causing her to flood out, to sink. Also, that is a lot of funnels, my friends. I mean, look at that. Five funnels. game. Battleship, target. You're out of range. Out of range. Yeah, okay, most of my battleships are in fact out of range of the enemy battleships. So let's clear out the, sec uh, the escorts first. It's annoying, especially since there is a time limit. Um, well, time limit. The faster you kill, the better it is for your points, but um, yeah. Soikaku, prepare your turn. Shokaku, prepare your turn. Daitang is the only light cruiser here that's really taken a hit so far. It's 1905, of course. Hitting a target is pretty nasty, pretty annoying. Enemy has three kilometer range torpedoes, I got five kilometer range torpedoes, so I got an advantage there. As the Tage is about to die. Heavy hits. Yeah, she's done for. Excellent. That is really good news. Not quite the winning blow yet, but um, a step in the right direction, I suppose. Enemy heavies are following the battleships. Pretty much the same as what I'm doing in that regard. Ooh, he hits on Soya. Light cruisers, focus on Isley, please. Enemy light cruisers apparently are in two divisions by now. Interestingly enough. Nicely is having some issues though with my light cruiser fire. Excellent work. Keep it up. And Isley is burned down. Hello. Yes. Meet my light cruisers. Ooh, nasty. And I tongue is about to go down. That's good, that's only two light cruisers remaining. Ah, you will live, I think, unfortunately. Lights, close in. I want to start putting on more pressure onto the enemy. Soikaku, prepare a turn. Ooh, Rene 
Uh, Descartes is having some issues. Excellent. Lights, change target to Descartes, please. Blow her out of the water. Let's smoke you up. What was that? That sounded like a big hit. Ooh, torpedo boat Seta. Took a nasty hit. And might actually be done for to prevent any bugs in the formation. I'm going to detach you for six. You may retreat. Good luck. That is my first ship out of action, essentially. Is okay, though. Is okay. Light cruisers, close in. Two enemy heavies are now acting as a screening force. However, ooh, first good hit on one of the battleships. Chicago, prepare your turn. Seta is down. Am I losing points for losing ships? I did not think so. Um, let's take a look. No, you don't lose ships. So that's a good thing. Well, you don't lose points. I do lose ships, sadly enough. <laughs> That's that though. My light cruisers are now in range of the enemy battleships. Let's start harassing. Zoikaku, Shokaku, prepare a turn. Nishin and Haiku. Haku, pardon me. Still doing their jobs. We need to kill these two cruisers. Then we can start looking into really harassing the battleships. Overall, a, a fun challenge. I must say, it's a uh, challenge that is more fun than I originally expected. I expected it to be a... Well, let's put it this way. I have some bad experience with fleet engagements lately. Um, last week's engagement. I did record it, for the record. I did record it. I decided not to release that video. Um, because it annoyed the hell out of me. The game annoyed the hell out of me. The challenge. Um, it was a good challenge, all in all. Um, my interpretation of last week's challenge was slightly different than that of most guys, and as such, don't do that, as such I um, expected something completely different from what actually happened, and yeah, my fleet, well, look at Rosilly's uh, episode, my fleet got crushed due to that, um, not his fault, not at all, um, he did He did awesome, he did, he did some great, great job. Um, but it annoyed the hell out of me. So, yeah, did not release that video. I never will. Not to mention that during that f engagement, um, Rosilly's battleships, they were like, okay, I'm a battleship. I'm at 1% floatability. I'm getting hit 50 times, and every time I keep getting um, flooding hits, but no, I am not going to sink. And eventually that drove me mad, even more than usual. So yes, I quit on the spot and decided with a small F U that I was not going to uh, do that challenge anymore. 
Fun times, right? Fun times. Now, Nashin is still doing 20 knots, but uh, Aku is not. I'm tempted to pull Haku out of the fleet, but we'll see. Ooh. Enemy heavy closing in, six kilometers, so let's target her instead. Rest of the fleet, we are now well within enemy battleship range. So by God, we're gonna target the battleships. Something sinks. However, a torpedo boat of mine got hit. In ex Ooh, flash fire! Holy shit! Two guns gone. Three gun. Terrible is is out of action. Huh. I did add my bets to you, didn't I? Anti-flood, Barbet 3, yeah. Oh god. Of course, 1905 is always a risk in that regard. I like the fact that the enemy keeps targeting my torpedo boats first. I'm gonna say let them. I don't care. Enemy battleship destroyed, meaning I have gained 10 points at the very least. I am pleased, my friends. I am pleased. Okay, there goes another torpedo boat of mine. That's okay. Um, Haiku, yeah, detach. Four, six, you are out of action. Nissan, target Verite, please. Light cruisers, I'm going to turn you around. I'm gonna prepare you guys to attack with torpedoes. Oh! Talking about attacking with torpedoes, there goes uh, Kasagi. Detach. Four, six. Do I have any torpedo boats remaining? Negative. All my torpedo boats have been destroyed. Well, that is the last one. All my torpedo boats have been destroyed. <laughs> charge of a heavy cruiser division, so let's start them down. Mind you, we have one enemy battleship going in a different direction. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, light cruisers. I need you to prepare to move in. Ooh, flooding hits on my light. That's not nice. We are skirting the enemy torpedo range, that is good. It's only some. Light cruisers. Let's go. It's Lang Duke. Okay. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Enemy other cruiser is still charging, so. Folks fire there. Nissan will cover the, the charge of the light cruisers here. Light cruiser, standby for torpedo attack. Victor Hugo, that is the charging last cruiser here. Excellent work. Standby. Aggressive torpedo launch authorized. Torpedoes away on the first ship. Lock torpedoes on the second ship. Chitos, waiting on you, sweetheart, waiting on you. That is launched. Mika. Screw it, entire division. Target uh, that battleship is running away. Torpedo hits. Oh, 
Of course, I make my ships with relative weak anti-torpedo protection, because I generally don't believe in it. I prefer staying out of range of torpedo attacks. Turn off torpedoes, prepare a turn. Shokaku, turn. Here you turn. And then over here we have Kumano, turn. Excellent work so far. Excellent work. The battleship Verite is about to die. The battleship Concours is also taking heavy damage after that torpedo attack. The enemy seems to be in retreat. I want you to keep targeting Voltaire, please. Ah, thank God for these light cruisers, man. I think I made the right decision. Made the right decision to make those. It is the right kind of counter. Division 3, join up with Division 4. Division 1, join up with Division 5. Why are you having five ships in the division now? That makes no sense. There is a sunken torpedo boat in the division still. Isn't there? Detach. Maximum speed. I repeat, detach. Uh, F this system. knots return to course thank you light cruisers we have a enemy cruiser division on approach let's say hello Nashin found the last remaining enemy battleship again my heavies do have torpedoes and they did launch actually good good Yeah, the division still thinks there is a torpedo boat in uh, in this division. That is annoying. Good hit, good hit. Uh, thank God that, that is one little bugger gone. Well, little. It's a heavy cruiser. Mesh in. Go after the enemy battleship. Together with the lights. Well, my battle fleet will kill these three. Ooh. It's on Kumano. Let's smoke with the lights, shall we? Armor piercing rounds, please. Fire on Verite. You girls, fire there. Armor piercing rounds, please. What's that? Heavy cruiser? Yeah. Enemy battleship destroyed. Target the next battleship. Ship destroyed. That's 30 points so far. Full tower now. And 
battle tower is gone. One enemy battleship remains. Just one. And I think my ships did okay. <coughs> hmm, pardon me. Five times speed, please. Shitos is dropping out of formation, that is okay. Torpedo authorized. Yeyema, Naka, Naka, come on, do your thing. Ooh, I think it's time for that little ship to fall back. Some torpedoes have been launched. Enemy has seen them immediately and they're turning away rapidly. That's okay. Smoke up. And that's the thing, those four inchers are really doing a number against my... Uh, uh, not really, it's mostly the uh, the 11 and 9 inchers that are doing the damage. Huh, I thought these uh, guns would actually rip apart these cruisers by now, but... Oh, guess not. battle and when all the enemy battleships are destroyed or when the entire enemy fleet is destroyed well it doesn't really seem to matter anyway job done 0829 flash fire actually enemy battleship destroyed that's five battleships that is 50 points nice Nice, nice, nice. I'm not unhappy. Not unhappy at all. <coughs> God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week in Shipyard Champions. Until then, as always, take care.